When it comes to digital photography, there's a lot more to it than you might think. And one of the biggest things to do with digital photography is exposure. Now you might be saying to yourself, of course it's exposure. You don't want your photo to be too bright or too dark. That's with any type of photography. But the reason it's so important with digital photography is we're using digital files. And when we're working with digital files, there's a certain amount of information that each file can handle. And that's what makes exposure so important. Because we're restricted based on a digital file, we need to be really smart with the way that we treat that file in camera. And obviously, if you're too bright, you're losing information in your highlights. And if you're too dark, you're gonna lose information in your shadows. But one thing most people actually don't know is when your exposure is off by too much, it actually affects the color information in your files. So if your exposure is wrong and you start losing that information in your colors, you're not gonna be able to manipulate them and alter them like you would if you had exposed the image properly. Now, let's just go outside so I can take a couple photos and show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so now I'm gonna get a couple of photos um, I'm gonna get one perfectly exposed and then one on either side, one too dark and one too bright, but very extreme so you can see it better. Now that we're in Lightroom, I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by loss of information when your exposure is not correct. And it's just crazy. This is why you need to pay so much attention to your exposure and not just looking at your image like, oh, that looks good and it's composed properly and all that stuff. That's important. But this is also just as important because if you're not exposing your images properly every single time, your images and the color in that images can look different from image to image and it can really impact your photos. So let's show you what I mean here. So let's start with the super bright one. Now this is it, like extremely, extremely overexposed. Obviously we're not gonna have any information in the highlights at all, but that's okay. We're just, this, we're just focusing on color right now. So let's treat this as if it was a normal photo. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna apply a preset and then I'm gonna try to bring the exposure down to where things start to look normal. And as you can see, that's probably as normal as I'm gonna be able to get it. Obviously, let's ignore that all of our highlight information is gone. There's no detail there at all. You can see on our histogram that's completely clipping, gone. But when you look at this, the red couch here, or this chair, look how brutal this red is. Look at how it's shifting from orange to red so harshly, obviously again, losing highlight information up here, but even just right here, the way that the information has been captured and stored, it's just horrible. It's not rendering that color well at all. This image is like not savable pretty much. So let's go to the properly exposed one and I'm just gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. Now, even this image is a little bright. I was, I was just shooting a little too fast, but we're still gonna have some highlight information, that's fine. So let's apply the same preset and work again like this. And as we bring it down, that's well exposed. You can see our Instagram, we're close to losing information up here in our highlights, but it, it's fine. But look at how our colors are rendered now. The roll off is proper. It's not changing color from a red to an orange. It's staying red, just the luminance value is changing. And let's go back and forth. That's, I, I'll stick with that exposure. You can see how crazy that is. It's, it just changes the photo completely. And you can see like even in the greens, and we lost a lot of information in the sky with the first photo, but in the greens and the blues, you can see how they change just so drastically. And it's because with the digital file, 
the way things are stored, I mean, I don't even know all of it and I won't get super techy, but when your file is treated correctly, then it just, it stores way more information. This, when it starts to, the file starts to break down, you're, you're literally just throwing away information and trashing it pretty much. And let's, let's try this. Now I should have underexposed this one even more because we're actually not losing any information in the shadows. So I can bring this up and we'll have a more balanced image, but it affects it kind of the same, but not, you know, you, I mean, you, you, you pretty much get the idea from the first image, but even then we're still, our, our colors are still pretty okay. And the thing about digital files as well that you should know is it's much easier to bring back shadows than it is to bring back highlights. We lose highlights a lot faster and a lot more harshly in uh, a digital file. So this is, you know, pretty savable um, because shadows are easy to bring back. And like we can look at our histogram and we have like all our information, like our high, even our highlights are still a little close to clipping, but you know, we have really good details here in the clouds, but we can still bring it back. Again, I probably should have underexposed this way more drastically, but yeah, that's uh, that's one thing to, to think about when it comes to exposing your image is that it can affect color so, so heavily. And that's all I have for you guys. It's so important to expose our images properly, not just when it comes to bright levels or dark levels. It affects the whole image completely and the information that's stored within those files. So next time you're shooting, make sure that you're on top of your exposure and use the tools in your camera. It's, they're packed with the great tools that we can use to help us along that. They're not just random things put in there to be like, oh, you could use this to measure your exposure, like the histogram that you can use. It's all there for a purpose. So remember to use it and just keep practicing and keep shooting. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.